All right. Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we reached this lab. And I think it's time we venture in and I'm not sure if holding my hands to my face makes me see any better than with my glasses. Oh boy. I'm going to have nightmares about this place for the rest of my life. Oh my god. This is not going to be an easy section. Am I wearing my uh, my toxicology badge? No, no I am. Now, just like my intention wasn't actually to come down here. As you can see, I have stuff that I haven't even fucking scanned. And if there's a boss down here, we're more. Oh my god! Two? And a roly poly? And is that what a. T making love to a termite? Why the hell is there a roly poly down here? Good god, this is horrifying. I thought we were in his lab, but it seems to keep going. Wow, this is not an area. Okay. Listen. Because this lab seems to be going to be a pain in my ass, we're turning on keep inventory. I don't even care if it stops achievements, doesn't let you get a good grade, because I know you get a grade cheat at the end of the game. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to go turn on keep inventory. I'm going to change this world into custom and keep, get keep inventory on. Okay, well, I don't think I actually can change this into a custom game. Yeah, all I can do is... Okay, so, yeah. If I die, I just... Guess I'll have to do save loading or something. I'd love to do this actually legit, but there's no fucking way I can do this actually legit. I mean, do you see the shit I'm seeing down there? A little chewy, but not bad. That's some free max health, I guess, but there was two black ox beetles, man. And there's termites everywhere? How did he get to this lab in one piece? It's like the pipe broke. It's again plunged into darkness. What if we follow the pipe back? Milk mullet. I mean, that's a good reward. Milk mullet's always nice. Yeah. But just expected something more. Like I thought it might open up into something or something cool like that. This is probably gonna be a long episode because this is all brand new. I don't know where to go, I don't know what I'm looking at. All I know is I hear horrifying monsters, and there's some kind of deep cavern below. I don't know what the fuck is happening. There's wolf spiders in here. Like, everything that's bad seems to be here. Either bad or fucking difficult as fuck to fight seems to be down in here. What the hell is this giant thing? Is that a piece of insulation? What about this one? Is this also insulation? Can I break it? Can I harvest it? I can stand on it. There, I had termites targeting me. Yeah, this is insulation. I don't know if I'm supposed to be climbing around on it exactly. There's some lint up here. I think we're going to want to drop into that chasm. Undershed sinkhole. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, no! Don't like that. Sap clumps. That's normal. More mosquitoes. Why are there so many mosquitoes down here? I don't feel like there should be any. Where am I going? I mean, this just seems to be leading right back out. I feel like I'm not supposed to just leave right away, am I? Was I supposed to bring, like, a whole other set of armor and swim to somewhere? Ow, why can't I get out of the water? Let me out. Let me out. I'm actually curious, so can I... I'm just curious what he drops. Just water flea meat. So he's just a tougher water flea. Maybe up there. So that looks correct. There's just so many mosquitoes around it. And I can't really seem to get out of the fucking water. Like, how do I get up there? Stop it. say there's no way in hell I was supposed to bring diving gear and dive somewhere. That'd be the stupidest thing ever. How come my water's draining so fast? Water Why did I slide off? Hello? That's, um, that's bad. Yeah, I know what that is. That is no way in hell we're supposed to go there. I don't even know if I could fight it. I've got max mithroditism, but can I fight it? Would I even live? Are you gonna follow me? Come down here! I literally only want to find the lab. I don't want to deal with black widows and stuff like that, because that's what's down there. In case you didn't realize, that that spider den is a black widow. Let's make a save. Because we might have to run through there to reach where we're trying to go. Follow me in. They follow 
you in. So you're a boss then. I'll give it another try. <clears throat> you're probably gonna see all the reloads in the video more than likely. Hey, 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 wait a second. You guys decided you wanted nothing to do with this room, remember? Poison? They do! Oh, don't come over here. Oh no, not again! That's my heal button. Eight. Maybe we can just run through her lair. I'm not interested. Yeah, I'm not interested. I've got so many poison stacks. I'm literally just gonna have to keep slurping. Is any of them gonna deactivate? lab. I found it. Watch out, roly poly rolling in. How do I get in? Ha. Oh wow. That is a lot of raw science. What the fuck? Defeat. Failure. Countless infusions, countless migraines. I'm so shriveled now, I can barely walk. And the true origin of raw science? Ooh, an enigma. A mystery box with no lid. I don't think I have much longer. It is hard to think straight. I am... So tired. I have only one option that remains. One last toss of the proverbial dice. Commence Project Mant. Oh boy. So he did indeed Frankenstein himself. Well, there's an ant in here. That's a fire soldier ant. spawn here but I don't really want to unless this lab opens back up into the overworld I'm not interested so we'll just create our save here got
every single bug in the game down here that's my only actual question spider sacks the infection test one supervising dr. Tully preliminary fungal germination tests have been promising cordycepin receptors show in innate attraction of vessels mass should allow for rudimentary control of the subject. So he's trying to create life. For our success, he was able to pilot the man from prone position. What the flying fuck? Muscle sprout bondings with a calcium carbonate in the promiscuous family have been surprisingly efficient. Success. Has a stable vessel now. Oh god. Those muscle sprouts we've been using as like like some sort of food source. And he's got like a super raw science in here. Reduce power settings unstable. He's got a copy of like a miniature copy this time instead of like the giant one that was up there. Project Mant is nearing completion. The first good news in as long as I can remember. Perhaps my previous failures have all led to this point. Uh, Vendepunct, my defining moment. This new body will allow me to continue my research. I've, I've created a super scientist. My checklist is complete. Consciousness transfer procedures will now begin. through that but this is broken too I'm sorry if I'm not saying anything I'm just too in shock That switch I flipped open exactly. Oh. Okay, so what it flipped was the thing at the end of that, but where do I go now? So it didn't seem I could open anything in there. This is just gonna lead me back outside, right? Away from his horrible fucking monsters and experiments. Don't even need to boil it. gone mad, is what I see. So where do I go now? I didn't seem to be able to make my way in further. Coming out doesn't seem to be the answer. Clearly I'm missing something.
Oh, don't tell me I have to fight him. Is that the only thing I can do? Oh god, it's the only thing I can do. <sighs> Alright, boys and girls. Can I get a picture of the man first? Before I drop in there? So I can see what he's weak to at least. Do I have whatever he's weak to? Stabbing, fresh, and slashing. Explosive, salty, and spicy. So I need to use my mint mace, I think. Yeah, let's create another save before we drop in. Oh yeah, it's angry. Oh my god, and it's a boss, yeah. Ow, you just punched a child. Um, he really doesn't do that much damage. Oh, he's stunned. Wait, oh, you suck, guys. And you throw shit. So that's the only one. We killed him. Well, let me make a save. And I'm actually gonna go take some screenshots for the thumbnail quick, I guess. You may have defeated my mans, but you and your ominous paymasters will never get their hands on the embiggening cocktail. I'll take that secret to my grave. To my grave! Tully? Are you in here? The watched becomes the watcher. <laughs> Older than my Sarah or Thor. Oh, 
what has become of me, threatening death to children. But, but also, what, what are you doing here? Well, that's fair. I have no doubt terrible things have brought you here. Terrible things that are undoubtedly my fault. I never meant to hurt anyone. I don't deserve it, but I hope one day you can forgive me. Speaking of forgiveness, please excuse my shriveled appearance. This blasted reasoning has taken its toll on my body. My support pod is the only thing keeping me from drying out completely. When the reasoning became too much, I realized I had to find a cure before it was too late. I hid here, away from the eyes. So many prying eyes. Ominence has always wanted to steal my work. They would never admit its worth and greatness, and yet they would always take it. Especially Schmechter. I have made many mistakes in my life. Countless, really. But one that I will never make again is to allow my discoveries to fall into the hands of that corporation. If I must die for it, so be it. My greatest regret. If only there was something I could do to reverse time. Some sort of time machine. The science seems quite clear it would be impossible. And yet I never thought that covalent spacing reduction could be a reality either. If, if, if the raw science would be applied in the way of the time structure, none of it. But I digress. You see, even if I went home now, my family wouldn't recognize me. Trudy would not see the man she married. My children would be repulsed by the bag of skin that speaks with the voice of their father. Like the grape set out in the sun, the body shrivels withers, desiccates, becoming a husk of what was once a living being. This is so fucking weird that he looks like this. In essence, what you see here before you, in all its unholy glory, the withered man. Well, if you will allow me to check your scabby, you've been in the yard for over a month. I'm sure the signs of reasoning would be apparent by now. Nothing in my research has shown that there is any immunity to it. And yet here you are. Perhaps it is that your youthful bodies are more resistant than others. Likely this is why Ominent was experimenting on children to begin with. Which means, did Schmechter find a cure? <laughs> no. That would be beyond anyone's ability, I think. I really don't hate Tilly. Damn! As much as I loathe the man, I must admit that Schmechter is brilliant in his own way. Though his methods can be quite distasteful. We cannot rule out the possibility that he has done it. Could that mean there is hope for me? Home. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Home. Your parents must be worried. So very worried. The process is not difficult. You will simply need to brew an embiggening cocktail at the Javamatic machine. The embiggening process is extremely taxing on living subjects. You'll need enough nutrients and proteins to survive the expansion to your original size. We use the embiggening cell to regulate this expansion by way of the secret cocktail. The ingredients in the cocktail, like the keratin in toenails, fortify the skeletal structure as it grows. Unfortunately, there is this small issue of over-expansion. If the subject grows too quickly, they are prone to over-expansion, or in layman's terms, they explode. Oh. To counter this, sustained infusions of carbon dioxide gas must be added to the mixture. Fortunately, I found a secret ingredient that works perfectly in this regard. Soda. Grilled science. 
grilled science. Raw science represents the essence of ingenuity, but thrown over the coals of fire, it is tempered by flame, tamed by burgle spatula, and emerges as something greater. Plump, juicy, grilled science. It reminds me of barbecues we once had in our backyard. Oh, Trudy, Sarah, Thor. The last of the grilled science is in the refrigerated storage room over there. Holy fuck. He's got shit ton of whole ass meals in here. Just close your eyes and imagine it's a fruit powder. Are you ready to go? We'll need some grilled science. Good. Good. Then we have everything we need to proceed. I promise I will get you home. I may have failed my own children, but I will not fail you. Oh, from the mouths of babes. Yes, you may be right. It might not be too late for me. But what is most important is getting you home. We need to head to the Javamatic machine in the upper yard. There we can blend the imbiggening cocktail needed to run the spacer safely. I'm opening the back door for you. I will follow close. The back of this? Is Tully actually going to follow me? Actually stuck right now. Tully. Dude, I can't like push him around. And he's stuck. What the fuck? Oh, huh. That's interesting. Yeah, you're stuck. Are you serious right now? What's on your mind? Be careful! What's on your mind? I concur! Yeah, come on. Please unstick yourself. What if I go this way? Will you be attracted to follow me this way instead? Taking a look. Are you serious right now? What the fuck? I can't. pisses me off. Majorly pisses whatever. He's set to follow me. If he manages to free himself, he'll follow me. Please tell me this comes out in the upper yard. Ah, oh, thank god I didn't want to go back underneath the shed. Never again do I want to go down there. Oh, there's Tully. Hey, Tully. Why is this pathfinding so fucking weird? Like, he can literally free float. He doesn't need to follow any specific path. How did we come out all the way over here? Why didn't you set it up to bring us out on the other side, Tully? Where the fuck did Tully go? Oh, well, there he is. The hell is my squashed guy again? There he is. He literally basically vanishes. What 
the fuck are you after Tully? Yeah, This is just fucking weird. I tried taking him all the way back to Burgle to see how they if he'd react, but I really have high doubts they programmed anything like that in. And if they if they wanted to like, why the hell are you going? Oh, there you are. I thought he went over the bag and was like gonna go into the fucking other thing over there. I was like, why the hell were you going? Are you stuck again, Tully? The answer's yes. God damn. I hope they fix Tully's AI. Otherwise, they should make it so instead of him following you, he just... He says, you go on ahead, I'll meet you there. And then you leave, and when you reach over there, he'll be, like, there. Or within a day, he'll be there. I don't know what his voice line is play. a little of the fact I'm being murdered. What? Long, Dr. Tully. Why do the fire ants have things on their heads now? They didn't used to. Right? Did the fire ants always have something weird on their head? I'm pretty sure the fire ants didn't. I'm pretty sure they were just fire ants. I'm gonna assume Tully can't die. Okay, he teleported to me. So yeah, it is after you get too far away from him. If he's set to follow, he just teleports.
So is this like the end of the game we're doing right now? Because that wasn't my intention. Like, if this is the end of the game, that's fine, as long as I can, like, go back on it. And I still don't understand why... Why these ants have things on their heads now. Gonna say if I don't have a bomb I'm gonna cry. They gave me a bomb. Just one though. So you know. Let's just get right up to it so we don't miss. Tully here, now we just, just want him to stay put. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. Okay, so I do need to go get everything to deposit all at once. So I need... Five berry leather, five koi skill, five gum, and five toenails. I already have the grilled science. Does that fill up a slot? No. Okay. We'll have Tully stay here. But, we're to that stage now. We're almost done. Tully, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you're going to be staying here a long time, so I hope you're comfortable. So we have to go all the way back to base, deposit some stuff, and ow. Probably prepare for a full out. Uh, my best guess is when we activate the Java Matic, every single insect in the yard, everything, will come to stop it. So I'm sure for some reason it's going to be too loud and it's going to make the insects mad. Even though I've never fucking heard of that in real life. But, before we do that... Some other things I want to do. First of all, I want to look at the rest of this upper yard. There's a whole yard we haven't explored yet. And yet, we're almost done. I guess. Unless something happens where it's like, hmm, no, you can't. You can't leave yet. You must do this now instead. Or something. But this whole upper yard is something we haven't even looked at. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's one of those things. Those folding things. That's cool. Can I go under it? No. I feel like you should be able to. I literally was like pushing, trying to put my head under it in real life, by the way. Whoops. I mean, maybe the upper yard just really isn't that big or something, but. Viz fam can? It's like the same exact pop as anything else. Like, look at all these grass seeds. What the fuck are they for? What is this? Ooh, this is cool. 
since we're getting your trash bags, I want to put back on my toxicology here because I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna be toxic up here. And I'm sure these um, neighbors here aren't gonna be too happy about my presence. Maybe we're near rust. Yeah, look, it's literally rusting right there. Holy fuck, this takes a long time to harvest. Got three pieces. A little chewy, but not bad. The lawnmower. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no. They say don't sizzle. Huh? So these guys are just termites. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like scream, but just I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was getting ready to do like a leap attack, not shoot a bunch of fucking purple shit at me. Oh, here you go, rust. Oh, one hit. Three pieces of rust. Neat. Is there anything else in the tool chest? Oh, this is also rust? Wait, are all these rust? No, it just looks like the screws are. Hope I have my tetanus shots up to date. Oh. Wait a second. Hold on. Hey, there's an extra here, but out of curiosity. Lawnmower anthill? Is this the, perhaps the horrifying ants? Who lives in here? Hello? Oh my god, he's behind me? What is that craft? I don't know. Let's get the fuck out of here. That's all I know. Sorry I stopped talking. Wait, that's the entrance to a lab. You stop. What what is eating my jump there? Science. 
This is hurting my head, by the way. The structural integrity of this lab seems like it might be a little compromised. This hurts my brain. Like, hardcore. None of this is correct. Uh, hate every minute of this. Oh shit. It's like playing Minecraft sideways. It's incorrect. Where, where am I aiming to land exactly? Oh my god, it's the other half of the cookie! Fuck these. Fuck the land. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay, it's the other half. We need that. We'll take that. We'll take those. We're gonna drink that. I don't know what it does, but I need help. So, yeah. Oh! Right, yeah. Everything's wrong. Put away this torch before it breaks, because I don't have it. Oh good, now it's nice and dark. We land onto this. Then, can we make it up onto that? No. Okay, how about onto these wires, then onto this big clump, and then across this. <sighs> Fuck off! Dude, bonking in this game, how it suddenly projects you really hardcore in another direction. I hate. Hate it with a passion. Because it doesn't make much sense to me. What? The? F I want to know what I bonked on that time. Ha! I'm up here. Now I jump to that. Doesn't seem correct to me. How do I keep climbing? Okay, onto that. No. How the fuck do I navigate this lab? This is a nightmare. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we need to jump up. And then, there we go. Is this for a milk muller? Was that all this was for? Was for a milk muller? No, there's access over here that I gotta open. Just don't fall too far. Did I hit it? I think so. Oh, roots here. I climb up this root. Yes, I hit it. I need to stop falling off and climb up this fucking root. Then climb up onto this root. Then onto the computer. Then over here. Cross onto this. Then we're gonna fall and grab this science. And then I think it's just a matter of making our way back up and out again. No fucking way. Oh. Onto this and then across onto the other one. There we go. And then the whole thing twists again and hurts my brain. Uh Couldn't you guys have been a little nicer to me and designed a lab that didn't hurt my head all the time? Oh no! Oh. Perch. Cool. And then we got a cave to leave. Because obviously we're stuck down here now. Moth fuzz! Hey, look at that. We didn't even have to fight a moth. Okay, whip out the torch again. What are, what are we looking at here? More water. Okay. Just to be clear, this lab hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Dear God, why? Huh? My inventory's full again? What? Oh shit, okay. Eat this. Just pretend it's eat turkey. Perfect. Okay. Into the cave. We're gonna keep the torch out just because I don't know what's in the cave. This feels bad. 
30 cords. Sorry, shrooms, I gotta leave you behind. Same with you, mint arrow. We can craft infinite of you, though. Need to get out of here. Hey, is this that cavern that that spider was near? That's just sturdy. I'm only gonna take it if it's the supreme right now. Yeah, this is that poison from that spider. Yeah, okay. Thank god it comes back out here. That seems like a fucking nightmare to get to, especially at night. There's no way in hell we're doing that right now. I was gonna say I should have the water. Wait, what? Why are they down here? down here with a fucking thing on his head. Why do so many insects have weird antennas on their head? thing I just did there so we can actually craft that better stuff but here's the toenail sh sh scimitar mysterious swift noble weapon damn the tiger mosquito rapier okay so those beaks were different we have the mint staff the spicy staff the sour staff, and of course, sour arrows are now unlocked. Interesting. Here's the uh, we need, you know, ash for the cement stuff used in an unknown thing, probably walls. Charcoal ash made of everchar chunks, probably in a grinder, I'd guess. Supreme, the supreme stone is made of a supreme quartzite shard, supreme marble shard, and we got our jewels and all that. Let's go ahead and make our supreme plating and our supreme these. Now, how many of the supreme does it take to upgrade one time? Not very many. So we can upgrade this once. Then this needs a lot of mighty gloves to upgrade further. But we can put away some of the stuff in there. We need to drink some water quick. Don't even need to boil it. Is this full? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Keep being distracted. Uh, thanks, Alf. Well, no, I want to finish looking at the wet recipes. You know what? Let's see the rest of the new recipes. So here's we got the wizard hat. So it gives you magical defense. Wizard's defense. And probably just extra defense if you're using a wand. The moth wrap. Silish head wrap made from moth, from moth parts. Ranged cut. Can we make this? We need pond moss. Alright, well, let's see the new, new recipes. So now there's even more new recipes. Now we got the fire ant chest plate. Cool. A moth robe. That actually looks kind of cool. But it just, I think that's for like bows. The moth leggings, and we already had the other one. Um, obviously, we got our new food. 
the fire ant club. Tier 3 club weapon. You have to do a lot to get this. And at this point, you may as well just use the mint mace. Wasn't that a, That's like a club weapon too. But I guess this isn't already enchanted with something. You can enchant it with whatever you want. Either way, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed. This time for real, the episode will be ending. Um, and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much, and uh, bye-bye. Thank you.